Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video, we successfully complete our user profile part. But right now I want to do when you change anything, I want to display the toaster message. So if you want to display the toaster message, it's very easy, all that part. First of all, you have to do, if you go to your exercise file, I don't want to write this code. If you search into the Google, uh, there is a toaster CSS. Here only you have to add three link. One will be as a toaster CSS, another will be as a toaster um, mean.js. So that is all that CDN link. Okay, friend. So that is our CSS will be needed, JSS will be needed, and also we need that type of one of the script. I show you, I will explain it. Don't worry about it. First of all, I want to load that toaster. I simply copy that toaster CSS as I told you. If you search into the Google by the toaster CSS CDN, you will actually get that link. Okay, so now I simply want to use it because in my lot of the courses, I have already <laughs> used it a lot of the time. So right now, I don't want to write this code. So simply I copy it. And in your exercise file, I have already shared it. If you want to take it, you can take it from this position. Okay, now I simply copy it. Now we have to do, we have to add it in our master because I have already added all that our CSS, JSS in our view, admin, and into this admin, that is our admin master. Okay, here and to the last area, into the last area, I want to, to load our CSS. So that is our toaster CSS CDN link. And then also we have to take our js link and also i take both of this okay i simply take both of this i copy it right now we don't need this and if you now go after last one i simply paste it okay i simply paste it so that is our toaster js link and also they have one of the script if into the session area has any message message is by default one of the message and into this message area i simply pass on the case as info that is our success, that is our earning, and that is our error. That, that is all that case class you can actually use it. Okay, that is a toaster info, you can use that toaster success, you can use that toaster warning, and also you can use that as a toaster error. And then into the session area, into the session area, you have to do have to pass our message. Okay, so that will be actually our message. I show you right now. You simply you have to update that JS and then they have some of the JavaScript, and also you have to load that CSS okay css cdn link friend that's all now i want to do it's simply silly as a save all and if you go to our admin controller into this admin controller when our image will be saved that means our data when that will be updated and before into the database save and after that save i want to do i want to show some of the notification okay that means the toaster notification then you have to do simply take one of the variable as a notification Okay, name it as a notification and that will be one of the array okay so that will be one of the array i simply loaded this array and into this array area then i want to do here that will be our name our name i name it as a if you go that is actually our message okay so into this message area here we have to pass that message what type of message you want to display and also there is another one as a alert type i want to do and to take both of this so that is our message so I want to do in our array that that will be our message. What type of message you want to display? Like for our, um, here, then the one that will be updated. I want to display as a admin profile update updated successfully. Then that will be displayed that type of one of the message. Okay, and also I want to do I want to take another one. I want to take another one that will be our alert type. Okay, then that will be the alert type. What type of alert you want to display? If you want to display the info, you have to use that as info. If you want to display that success, then our type will be as a success. If you want to display the warning type, then that will be as a warning. Rather than that will be as an error. Right now, uh, that is success message. I want to display that success. So here, first of all, I want to add that our alert type. So that will be as an alert type. Alert type, I want to do. I want to make it as a success okay so here you can actually use that success info warning error whatever you choose right now that is always a success message i want to make, make it as a success okay friend i hope it's very much clear to you so now that is our notification so now i want to do i want to pass that notification so here only you have to do when that will be returned direct to our admin profile page after that i want to pass that with with our notification Okay, so then that is actually our notification. So friend, that's all you have to do. Now, if you want to check it, click as a save all. And now if you go, I want to refresh that page. Okay, I want to refresh it. 
So that is a uh, syntax error, unexpected token array. And that means here that is our array. So that is a notification. Notification will be as an array. Okay. So now, now that should be work. Now we get save all. Now if you go refresh it, yeah, it's perfect. So here I have already passed that as a notification array. As a message will be display. As an admin profile update successful. Alert type will be as a success. It will be display when that will be returned direct to our admin profile page with that notification. That is actually our notification, right? Now let's check this out. If you now click as edit profile, I want to update that like as only name, okay, username as a user one. Now if you click as update profile, yes, you can see our poster message is now successfully displayed as an admin profile updated successful and that is one of the success type, right? As a our earning or alert type will be as a success type and that is our message so both of these I take it with one of the array I take that array by the name as a notification here I simply pass it okay friend I hope it's very much clear to you so if you want to use that another type here that is another type like as a success I want to use that as an info type okay so if you want to use that info so only you have to do you have to use it as an info type now click as a save all now again if you want to check check it click as a refresh i want to click as a edit profile into this edit profile i simply make it as a user now click as a update profile yes you can see now that is our info type as a ad, admin profile update successfully our message will be the same but only our type is changed okay our alert type right now as a info here how much easily you can load that toaster cdn i hope it's very much clear to you so friend in our next video i want to do when you log out when you log out if you want to display that one of the alert message you can also display it and when you successfully log in if you want to display some of the locking message you can also display it so how can do this work in our next video i will show you that things with the live example so thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video